Hello friends, this video on probability part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. And that is the reason why we have the classical or theoretical approach. This is what we will study, so we will focus on this. So since the earlier method has had disadvantage, that is the result is not consistent and it is not possible to actually perform the experiment every time. So we have the classical and theoretical approach. So here we assume that the first thing is please assume that all the experiments have equal likely outcome. I'll explain this. This is the assumption we are making that all the events are equal likely outcome. When I say equal likely, for example, when I say head and tail, so this is equal and this is equal. Probability of head and probability of tail is equal. All are equal likely. That is, probability of head will always be 1 by 2, tail will always be 1 by 2. So, I am redrawing a coin or from a ball, uh, it is bag that has red, blue, yellow, white and let's suppose pink and orange also, 6 color. So, in that case, the probability of red will always be 1 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1 by 6. Probability of blue will always be 1 by 6. This is the assumption actually that all the experiments have equal likely event outcomes. That is, I mean in the earlier case if you see in the earlier method, you have to actually take out red and see what is the probability it comes. Sometimes it comes 1 by 6, sometimes it comes different also. But in this case, it is assumed that whatever be the scenario, the probability of red will always be 1 by 6. Also. The same formula here also for probability of event is nothing but probability uh, the number of favorable outcome by all possible outcomes. Correct? Outcome favorables by all possible outcomes. Also one more thing, if you add all the probabilities of the elementary events that should give 1. For example, probability of head plus probability of tail should give 1. If you see here 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 1. Here also probability of red ball plus probability of blue ball if you add all this right six balls that should become one if you see one by six plus one by six six times that gives one also one more thing that is any probability is always greater than equal to zero or less than equal to one so when it is equal to zero it means impossible that it will never come for example when i say when i uh, from this uh, set of what do you call uh, balls red blue yellow white pink orange i want to withdraw a brown ball but there is no brown this is black actually there is no brown so in that case brown will never come so it is 100 percent that zero result will come correct so it is impossible event so when the uh, probability of any event is zero that means it is an impossible event and when it is one that is, it is sure short event so we'll discuss all this, but just understand that the probability is always greater than equal to zero or less than equal to one. <coughs> Let's take some example. It's a very simple example. We have to say which of the following have equally likely outcome. The first thing is a driver attempts to start a car. The car does not start. Is it an equally likely outcome? The answer is no. Why? Because it is not universally true that it will have some fixed value. This will depend on the condition of the car. If, it is, if this guy is starting a brand new BMW, the probability that it will start is 100%. Sure shot it will start. If the driver is trying to start and a very old car with this is not the the battery is not charged or there is no oil then in that case the probability that it will not start is high correct also it depends on driver also if the driver is very new if he is given a good car also he may not be able to start the car if he is, if he is not aware of how to start the car so the driver starting the car depends on two condition the experience of the driver and the condition of the car it is not independent of all these, these two factors. So we can say that this is not an equally likely event. Correct. 
the second is a player attempt to shoot a basketball she shoots or miss the shot here also no correct why because it depends on the quality of the player if the player is very experienced he is very good he will definitely 90% chance is there that he will hit the shot if the player is very new guy he is not even aware of basketball the person like me 10% chance is there that he will hit 90% he won't even hit correct so these things depends on the quality of the player correct a trial is made to answer true or false question the answer is right or wrong here if you see yeah this is a equal likely event why because here the chances is 50 50 50 percent it may be correct 50 percent it may be wrong because there are only two options so you have let's suppose a question you, you ask true or false it will either be true or false right or the if you if you attempt the question also your answer may be correct or incorrect there's only two options and please note a trial is made here if the same question was a student answers to a question true or false to a, a, a student answers to a true of a question what is the probability is it a uh, i mean the answer is right or wrong is it a equal probability event then in that case we can say no because if the student is a topper he the chances that he will give correct answer is more if the student is a backbencher or he is he is not that good the chances that he may give, as, give the answer is incorrect so in that case it depends on the quality of the student but in this case the question clearly says it is a trial just a trial is made without even looking we are just giving true or false then in that case it is 50 50 correct because here in trial we are just blindly giving true or false the next thing is a baby is born is a boy or girl again here also it is yes why because it is independent of factor it is a luck sometimes you get boy girl sometimes you get girl it is something which we don't have control over we can't even modulate all this thing we can't rig this so in that case this is also yes in the first two case we can rig the event by improving or deteriorating the quality of driver or the quality of car or the quality of player but in these two events we can't rig India will win world cup or not again this is also not a equal likely event why because it all depends how India is performing that day which is the competitive team there are so many factors how is the pitch quality there are so many factors so India will win cup or not this is not a equal likely you will pass math test or not again no why because in this case you are involved here india is involved these people can rig in fact you can rig the total outcome if you perform well if you perform well in math test you will get pass if you don't perform well if you don't uh, score if you don't practice you may fail so it is you who can rig the whole thing so it is not equal likely so here if you see only two events are not equal likely event because there is no one to rig and the chances are 50 50 correct thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again